Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you um, would be so kindly, please make sure you share my videos with all of your friends on your pages everywhere. Um, and also click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. There's a couple things that I have that's going on. Um, you guys can click the link in the description bar to join my channel box which is a paid channel membership it is a dollar and 99 cents per month to join and um it's just a place for just stall people to just connect and also um you may see a join button there that will that is the same thing that will take you there if you're not on a, like an iphone or something like that but other than that Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram as I do post a lot of photos there. I am here with baby Katie Lou and I know that a lot of you um, always express to me about, she is a baldy so I'm going to take her hat off. So I'm going to strip her down to nothing. Oh, I should have got you a new diaper. Um... I had a few comments about um, sharing more of Lily Grace and Ada and um, I have a bad habit of not sharing some of my more personal babies, more sentimental babies as much um, as I do others and that will probably never change because that's just how I do. Um, I tend to keep them a little bit more private to myself, although they're not private. Um, so I do apologize for those that would like to see more of them. It probably just won't happen. Um, I was so excited today. Well, yesterday I had a good thing happen, which was, um, I was... You know, scrolling through videos, and I came across Pooh Bear's video, Pooh Bear 253, and I said, huh, let me click on it. And um, I clicked on it, it was a very lengthy video. I seen it was probably like 40 something minutes, so I said, huh, maybe a good one. So I started watching and listening, and boy, did I remember when I first got into this community, uh, Pooh Bear was the channel to watch. I think a lot of people started out watching her channel. Um, <clears throat> and so it took me back to that place because she always like had very organized nursery. I remember she had all the bins, all the babies had their own bins they, with their names on it. They all had their own pacifiers, their all own blankets. Everything was so organized and she had all this nice stuff and um i even bought a few things from her online yard sale um before but anyway it just took me back to when i got into this hobby and my love for the dolls it 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 really um made me feel good about you know the hobby she has on my little embroidered body but um So it, you know, it, so it made me feel good and I got in here and I start, you know, picking up some stuff and changing a few of the babies and, you know, I just, I felt good. Like I felt good about, I said, well, you know what? I need to straighten up my dog on nursery. I was looking at hers. I was inspired to get in here and start working on my nursery. And then I also, um, I, I know you guys don't may not know this but she is one of my favorite babies and she takes like a full pacifier too so it's pretty cool it's a whole nipple and then it goes right in so I really I like that about her but I really liked her lips her full lips so a lot of sculptors don't give us much lips to work with with painting but you know it is what it is it's a, depends on what they're sculpting from and their vision but 
anyway so i was i was happy about that so i was like you know what good it's some good videos out here because there's a couple um collectors that i follow channel but they don't do videos regularly and i can totally understand why and um that i would probably watch daily if they did but um then this morning i was laying in bed and i you know getting up trying to get myself motivated to have to get up and then i seen bonnie brown live sculpting and i was like wow so i was really so i was excited about that i was like okay but when i came on she'd already had a foot done and she was just like you know working her way up to the ankles and stuff and i love that she took a leg and crumbled it note only thing was under there was a full armature and she used them on that clay to work on the foot that she was working on so i was like pretty cool and you know it was like okay she letting us know it's nothing up under her scope <laughs> so then um she went from there i'm sorry grab her sandals and then she went from there well then after i finished watching that watching her scope live there um i saw hang on shoot a little bit further back than what I expected um but then after after that I need to see if she can fit those I think they're too big but after she finished she after I finished watching her there I I went back and I looked and there was another video and I felt so good about that um it's not that she has to prove herself to anyone or nothing like that. But I saw where she started the foot in the first video and it was from scratch. Like it was like a ball of nothing. Yeah, she could get away with these. But I'm not gonna put them on her today. They do look kind of cute with that, but I'm gonna just put on the jellies. But um, but yeah, so and I saw that, you know, she started from a ball of nothing and she sculpted and it was live. So there was no pause, come back and a whole foot there all of a sudden type thing. So it was pretty cool. And I was really excited about that because a lot of times when you see people come on and they're sculpting, they're not really sculpting. They're like adding details, so to speak, or lines or, you know, just smoothing out the clay of whatever they already have they already have a whole face there everything's done and they just like smoothing it and molding it or something like that it's not like you start from scratch and and build from there and um so i really i really really enjoyed that um i saw another sculptor do that before too um but i'm a bigger bonnie brown fan so it meant more to me watching her than anyone um because i was kind of losing faith in in the art a little bit and just this community just everybody seemed to just kind of not have an original thought or um i don't know it's just not it's just not the same as it used to be but i've been you know like i said taking a step back and enjoying my hobby privately and um and um but that that really got me going like poor got me motivated to want to do a few more videos and um bonnie brown made me excited about the art again you know just reassuring me that there's still real sculptors out here that actually really sculpt from nothing and when I collect for my personal collect collection, I kind of like to, I prefer to, to, to collect real art, um, real sculpted stuff. Um, I'm not going to say that life casting, I'm against life casting, but life casting and a hand sculpted um, sculpt is a little bit different for me. I've value hand sculpted stuff 
a lot more, but I'm not saying I'm opposed to collecting life casting stuff because it's still beautiful and I love dolls. So um, if it's life casted from a real baby, then that's fine. You know, they're not cheating. They're not sculpting over somebody else's work. Now, if they're remolding somebody else's doll and shrinking it down and all that stuff, that's a whole nother story. And I'm not going to get into that because it's just not my place. I'm not a sculptor. I cannot sculpt. Um, and because of that, some people may not even view me as an artist because I cannot sculpt. Um, but what I am, and nobody can't tell me anything different, is I am a real collector. And my opinion matters. <laughs> so I do, I do love the art. And, um, you know, it's like when I'm painting, um, I was actually, it's funny because I'm actually painting a Bonnie Brown sculpt right now. And as I was, as you paint, when you're painting, um, really beautifully sculpted, um, limbs and, and fingers and toes and hands. And unfortunately, I'm going to just insert this and I don't want to go too deep into it. Unfortunately, sometimes when people copy other sculptors work, you kind of can, sometimes you feel a little bit of that like the realism because it's there because it's the original artist's work, unfortunately. But um, <clears throat> but when you're sculpting, I mean painting, and every time you stroke your brush over that, that leg or that arm or that foot, it's like something magical because, I don't know, it's something about it. It's, it's like, okay, I don't know how to explain this. Like I know a lot of people, especially people that don't collect or people that don't paint, well, understand. It's like you ever collected a doll and you absolutely felt nothing for the doll like or you got a doll to paint and you just went blank like there's no soul in the doll so to speak like you look at the doll and you feel nothing it's like it's no oh oh my gosh that looked just like cousin you know oh that looked like my baby when it oh my gosh it's so cute oh my gosh I seen a baby in the grocery store look like this you know, you don't have that feeling. Like, it's just like, hmm, okay. I guess, well, it'll look good in this color. You know, it's kind of like, so that's how it is, like, with some things. So I feel like when someone really sculpts from their heart and they pour into it and it's very realistic, like, I can look. When I first, okay, when I first started collecting, I would collect these dolls. I was just buying, 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 buying. Like a lot of you guys are probably doing right now. I would just buy dolls, buy dolls, buy dolls. And I could never understand why I just, some of them I just didn't like. Like, and there was some that was just really kept my attention. And it was like, I really, really like this about it. And then eventually I figured out that, okay, you know what? I love hands and feet. So I thought that was just it. But then as I got a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper into the art of it, I start realizing that when the sculpt is not realistic, no matter how well it was painted, I didn't really care for it. It's like I have a doll in my collection right now and I'm not going to say which one it is, but I absolutely feel nothing for the doll, right? I felt nothing for the doll when I seen it blank. When I seen it, the first time I seen the doll, I was like, heh. So I got it blank and I said, I'm gonna paint it myself. Well, I fell in love with my painting on the doll per se, but I still don't, so I felt something then. So I think it's more about the painting than the sculpting, if that makes sense. But as I got, start collecting more and more, I actually, if I don't be moved by a blank scope, most of the time I don't want to paint it because I have to be motivated to want to paint it. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's just me. And I know a lot of people don't care about that. Um, a lot of people just want a nice doll, pretty doll, something they could dress up, do hair. And that's fine too because you're still a collector, you just collect dolls. You're not collecting for the art side of it just, or you know, some of you are collecting for the art side of it because you love the way they're painted, the way they're rooted, and rooting to me is an art in itself. And 
so you are still a collector um but you just don't collect for the sculpting art of it you know it's just everybody have different things so i'm learning to sit back and shut the hell up and stop judging people you know if you want hair all the way down to the toes on a newborn so be it rapunzel rapunzel let down your hair <laughs> you know it's like whatever it's what makes you tick so it's not my place and some artists are very good at styling hair so they put a lot of hair on their baby's head and that's their thing that's what they love so let them have that um, who am I to say? Some people don't like the sculpts that I collect because they're ugly to some people. And they're like, yeah, you collect some real ugly babies. But to me, they're super realistic and they're more realistic than that cute face on that for ugly body that is on or this Frankenstein baby that the sculptor or so-called sculptor have put, you know, Bonnie Brown lambs on Natalie head and a, you know, Phil Donnelly body or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, and so everybody have their thing is all I'm saying. But anyway, guys, this video went way longer than I expected to. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Katie Lou get dressed. And I've said a lot more than I thought I would say in this video as I am trying not to get too deep into, you know, topics. Um, but I am myself and I am who I am, but I just want to say thank you to everybody out there who actually do what they love and do it with a passion and do it with honesty and integrity. And I truly appreciate that. Um, I, I will say this little part and I'm not going to out anyone, but you know, the last person that I discovered that was using another sculptor limbs truly broke me i just i couldn't i was just like you know i, I can't <laughs> i can't even i can't even you know like what the what <laughs> so anyway guys you you know so everybody's running around going oh so so copy and this so so copy and that like we don't really really know unless we see people like you know the few sculptors that have came and went live or you know showed them sculpting from beginning to end or not even from beginning to end but you know just creating something from nothing that is art if you can create something from nothing that is art and so with that being said i love you guys i hope that you love yourself more than anything and that's it be blessed.